What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Dimonriva and today we're gonna to be making a Golden Lotus. The Golden Lotus was a cocktail created by a good friend of mine named Zara Bates who is now the national brand ambassador for Corvassier. Um, but before that, uh, I had worked with her for uh, a couple of years at Cole's French Dip, which is where I run the bar now. And then before that, she was at a bar called Providence for many, many years. And this is someone that I really respect. She is just an amazing force in the bar industry. Actually, another thing that she did was she was the co-creator, along with another good friend of mine, Daniel Jang, um, of a nonprofit called Art Beyond the Glass, where basically there's an art show slash uh, basically bartenders from a certain city or bartenders from a chosen city will create a bunch of art and then create a bunch of cocktails and all of the money goes to a different charity every year. They do it in a couple of different cities. So it started in LA, but it moved to, um, it moved to uh, Kansas City and then it also moved to New York last year. Um, I believe they did one in San Diego. I may be wrong about that, but you should definitely check it out at artbeyondtheglass.com. Uh, so she's the co-creator of that. And then also another thing that I really respect about her is that she did this awesome thing where she figured out which bars were doing really cutting edge stuff and she decided to do a stage shift. Now for those of you non-bartenders, a stage shift is a shift where you go in and a bar tries you out. And she just didn't want to actually work at those bars, but she just wanted to learn what she could from staging at those bars. So she were, like did shifts at the Aviary and Three Dots and a Dash. Uh, in Chicago, and now she's based out of Chicago. So that's my whole big spiel. Anyway, somebody once said that now that you've done a paper plane and you've done a uh, corpse reviver uh, and you've done a last word, now you're gonna have to do all the variations. And this is one of those variations. Let's get into the cocktail. First thing we're going to do, <laughs> luckily, it's right here. I knew it. I went like, oh, because I forgot something. And luckily it was right next to me on the counter. So I kind of feel like I don't need to cut and redo this whole thing. I'm just going to keep going. So first thing we're going to do is three quarters an ounce of lemon juice. Followed up by three quarters of an ounce of Cointreau. Followed up by three quarters of an ounce of Suze, which is a gentian liqueur. It's a gentian kind of amaro, not amaro, like aperitif. Um, so it's gonna be like a bit bitter on the finish. And then three quarters of an ounce of Tanqueray number 10 gin. And then we're gonna add some ice. And we're gonna lock our tin. I'm going to shake. Now let's center our glass. And do our little double strain. Now, the recipe calls for saline solution, which is the mixture of water and salt, but all of my eyedroppers are taken up by more important substances and I really want to do this cocktail. So what I'm going to do is take a little Malden sea salt, which is kind of that high end sea salt and I'm just going to do a little sprinkle. But if you want to do um, like a saline solution, just keep in mind that different salts, depending on their crystal structure, will give you different levels of saltiness. So I would suggest using kosher salt or a floor to cell or something like Malden, which are gonna be a little bit more expensive. And then if you wanna make the saline solution, it's 80 grams of water to 20 grams of salt. So that would be a four to one ratio. And just like make sure you keep that ratio, get a gram scale, do it by weight, because the crystal structure, some salts are, the crystal structures are larger and they're lighter. So it'll actually be like, let's say 20 grams of certain salts will be more than 20 grams of a salt that has a tighter, com more compact structure and it's gonna be a little heavier. Um, and then you do three drops of that. I just did a pinch of uh, Malden sea salt up in here. And then the very last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this relatively ugly grapefruit that I got. We're gonna find a, doesn't matter if it's nice though because we're gonna just take a little peel and then we're just going to zest it, right? 
and then we're going to discard it because we're not going to actually use, present the cocktail with it. And there you have it, my friends, the Golden Lotus. Let's take a, let's take a sip of this bad boy, see what we've gotten ourselves into. Ooh, bright. The gentian comes through. You've got lemon juice. The Cointreau really comes through, and it's followed up with a little bit of botanicals on the finish from the gin. So there you have it, my friends, the Golden Lotus.